Hi everybody, it's PJ and I'm trying a new setup for my camera in my car because I can't stand not talking to you in the morning. So the moon is coming into a beautiful position. We're going to play with some of that. And you know what I noticed? Like, I, it's kind of good for my heart. Like, you guys leave me questions and whatnot so I can do readings like just card readings for you um and I wish you'd leave date of birth too you know but sometimes you do sometimes you don't or names so I can focus in on a specific name but that all being said um y'all want to talk about love it's so good because it's like, I have a ton of like prosperity spells for money and whatnot, but you guys don't focus on that. It's really cold today. I'm freezing. And I know it's August and I know I'm silly, but I'm cold this morning. Anyway, yeah, so. Yeah, so, um. You all want to focus so much on love, and I'm so happy with that because it makes me feel good so I want to put together some more love spells for you because it seems like that's what so many of you are interested in um, and so many want to know things like is he coming back you know is she coming back and you can draw them right back into your life oh my god it's a huge yard sale oh no why do I have to go to work today well I don't mind I have to work for my one assistant. Oh my god, I've got to look. What time is it? Oh, I might have to stop. I'm stopping. What is on the corner here? What is it? I mean, usually it's the same people in this corner, but this one is set up like literally on the corner. I need to move up. Hold on. Oh, this might be too much fun. Well, I ended up going to the yard sales with Carrie, and look at my new glasses. They're khaki. The pink bow. I'm out of breath because I was running. I got two more things. Hold on. Well, actually three. I got that ring. Isn't that toot? I love it. And wait for it. This ring. Look at that, it's like rosebuds. I love it, but I love my little sunglasses. And I got another pair of sunglasses, but they're not like super cool, they're okay. What do I do with them? Oh, they're in my pocket, hold on. And now we're going to the thrift stores. And these as well. So I got these, the two rings, and these for $11. And this is the last thing I got. Yard sailing. I love this. It's a little old. I wish the light was better. Hold on, let me pull it up. There we go. It's an old baby uh, bassinet, probably more a doll one, but the petite, and I think this is called petiquing when they would put these little things on it. I mean, this is done from 40s, 50s type thing. It's all wood and it's perfect. And I'm going to use it to put my doggy toys in it. Right, Piper? Hey, Piper, is that what you want? So this was the last thing I got at the yard sales. I have a great story with this guy. This is Trixie. And when I was little, mm -hmm. Trixie um, was my best friend and I rode her everywhere. She's a metal die cast metal little horse on wheels and the way it works is you push on the see, and she propels forward and this was my absolute best friend. I rode horses when I was a little girl so this is my best friend of all. I I had moved down to Jeff's house down on the water and um, somebody came in and stole her 
and uh, I was heartbroken. Probably my, my most prized thing. Anyway, a couple years ago, Christmas, um, my son Coleman found a lot. It, it, this isn't her. This isn't the one that I um, had. The one I had looked exactly like this, only right here on its little thing. I had started to paint it um, like a flesh tone color, and my mom freaked out. She's like, don't paint it. This is when I was like 12. She's like, don't paint her. So she had, so if anybody out there from Cecil County has one or knows somebody that has one of these with the little flesh tone thing right there, it's mine. It was stolen out of my house. And uh, I would pay huge money to get her back. But I am thrilled that Coleman got me this one. There's, they actually have other ones. I might grab another one. So I love her so much. When I opened up this present, I mean, nobody, I, you could have hit me with a stick. I was so amazed that, that this is what I was getting. I, like, they kept messing with me through Christmas. Like, this is the best gift ever. All this. I kept thinking they were giving me a puppy. I was like, they're getting me a dog or something. Like, what else could be something that I would love? But they outdid it, man. That was amazing. That was like to the heart amazing. So this is my front door. These are my grandmother painted this picture. And this is a Hibble, Hubble, Hibble. And she does all this gold work. It's really amazing stuff. And my mother got me that because she thought I looked like that. And uh, it reminded her of me. And then um, I just have a bookshelf. My plant died over the summer. I got to fix it, put a new plant in, which I hate because I'm a green thumb person. And then I have a little table. On the table are pictures of my children. This is... That is Jeb, my oldest son. He's a musician. That's Coleman, my middle son. And Forrest, the baby. And then I have... This is my stepson. Jeff's son, Eric. His wife... Jess and Bradley, their son. They actually have another son. I don't have pictures of him yet. Um, and then this is Coleman with a friend's baby. That's my middle son. Anyway. Okay, and I collect a couple things. I collect Jim Shore pieces like this. You'll see all over my house. And they're very like scrolly, beautiful. Love them. And there's another one. I don't know if you can see it. It's a uh, a doggy, but it's all wood carved stuff. Really neat stuff. Let me try to open these curtains a little more to give some more light. Let me see if I can do that. I have it's like really dark in here for some reason. I don't know why. I gotta fix the light anyway. Then, okay, so then I have my windows as you can see. It's like I should, there you go. My windows, I did all of the I did all of this trim work myself. Yup. Just me. And I didn't have any doors. Like we rehabbed this house. It was like gutted. I didn't have doors for the closet. So I just used curtains. So this couch um, is probably from, it's like 200 years old or 150, 200 years old. And uh, it is my, I, it took me two years to find it because yeah, I'm like picky weird. And everything you see here I got from like yard sales or Goodwill or antique shops. So this is my couch and everything, the walls are Wedgwood blue, see? And then cherry. And I, Trixie, of course, and then my grandfather clock, which is from my, all my relatives are jewelers. So this was in Clausen's jewelry shop in Philadelphia for years. And then eventually down from my father and then to me, these paintings uh, are from the same artist and forgive me, I don't know the name, um, from the kiss. And I'm sure you've seen that painting. And it's all done with mosaics, pieces of, it's like done with pieces of a material. 
and like gold lame, a lot of gold, as you can see, this is like gold. And it's called the, uh, this is called A Woman Scorn. One of the pictures is of the wife and she is angrily looking. Isn't that beautiful? And she's looking very angrily, angrily, very angry at the lovers. And that is the girlfriend holding the husband. So. Okay, so then we go down. There's a picture of my son and his fiance. Aren't they adorable? They're so cute. And then this, the middle man in this picture is, um, oh no, I know who it is. This is a picture of my husband when he was like 14. My, his father and his father. So those are the three McGoverns right there. Then, um, this peacock, and I don't know how well you can see the detail, it's a peacock, but it's all, um, when you actually plug it in, it's a, it lights up from the behind. It's all done in crystals. It is from the, I think the 20s, and it is brass. Then I have an old nutcracker. I wish, I really wish I could show you this with some light, but my light is terrible. And as I said, I collect Jim Shore, uh, Mackenzie Child, and I collect glass dogs and toys that are really old and very kind of rustic looking. So here's one of my glass Pekingeses. It's this one and that one. They're a team. And then in the back, that's a can of Tinker Toys. And I, I told you about Trixie. And then my girlfriend got me that little rocker horse. Then um, we go over, that's the fireplace, and of course, I wish I could hide all this junk, and my TV's mounted above it. Um, then this is a basket, uh, it's like a picnic basket my girlfriend gave me, and it came with this plaid. I love plaid with like modern, like I love to mix stuff. I have candelabras on each side of my fireplace. And then this is a piece. This is Mackenzie Child right here. This is called a Tuffet. And if you look, it's all ceramic work. Look at the legs. They're amazing. I, I love her stuff. She's very, she's a lot more expensive than the Jim Shure stuff. This is actually a uh, dog, but um, it's for a fireplace. You're supposed to put in the back side. It opens up. It's like... Um, a snufferder box I think it's called and then I have a wooden dog which usually I only do glass or some form of ceramic but I have a wooden one that's so cute I love the way here watch out pipe eight I love the way his butt sits up look at this Is that the cutest and of course this is where I'm gonna put the dog toys from my uh, yard sale I'm gonna put all their toys in there. Then I just have this um, little table beside my, I don't think it's a love seat, it's like an oversized chair with an ottoman, but I put the ottoman next to the, I'll show you a full picture, but here's another dog, very old. Yeah, and the dog, the glass dogs I collect are usually 50 plus years at least. And <laughs> this is actually, oh, my sister, let me get it out of the reflection. My sister painted this. My sister's an artist. She painted this and um, Peace on Earth. This is her Christmas, a Christmas gift to me, which I love. Because I love that kind of stuff. Okay, and my and Tim gave Tim, you've seen him in videos. He gave me this turtle. He's a turtle fanatic, and I have a couple really cool turtles. Here's another funny story. One of Coleman's friends like is in love with this. This is just a candy dish. Okay, but he loves this piece. And so I don't know. They took a picture of it one day, and I've seen this kitty all over um, the internet doing weird things watch out Piper move honey come on watch out doing some strange things doing some strange things so this is the kitty and you might find him in different places I think there's a Facebook page for him or something and it's just my candy dish I have no idea why 
And then this is like all my, these are all my picture books that I kind of leave out. I don't know. That's just what I leave out. Instead of having magazines and cool books, I leave that out. And these are just some pine cones in a dish. And that's it. So let me show you what the whole room looks like. Bam. So it's like that. So it's kind of, um, oh, I love this rug. It's a straw rug. So it's kind of, um, what's the word? It's cottagey, but not overdone. I don't know. I love it. It looks like, I said, like Alice in Wonderland lives here. And I love the new, um, the baby bassinet thing because that's where all the dog toys are going instead of having a box that I hated. So that's my living room. Yeah. And then that obviously opens to the kitchen. Oh, and this is, um, these are real old. My grandmother had these for like a hundred years because she was 97 and they were from her family. So I don't even know what they're of. I guess they're supposed to be some sort of landscapes, but I love the frame. And then I got these at a yard sale as well. I have quite a few of them. There's two more that I have in the kitchen. And I just love the colors in them. All right, so that's my living room. <laughs> I don't know if you care. I thought I'd give you a living room tour since I wanted to show you. And that fireplace screen I got at that yard sale yesterday. So. Really cool yard sales. Loved it. Got great stuff. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye. Oh, if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, a thumbs down. See how dark my room is? It's because this thing is broken. Um, a thumbs down. If you don't, either way, got you watching. I hope you like my living room. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you like it? Do you hate this style? It's not very modern. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, room is on. All right. Anyway, guys, manifest something good in your life. And I love you guys. Bye.